Hey people, welcome to Bethel Brothers Hot Rod. Well, the paint's dry and I'm ready to put the shifter box back in. It turned out really nice, I'm liking it. Joey kind of gave me some crap about it being a little bumpy, but considering that it used to be this, and now it's this, this is about as far from this shape as you can get. So I'm kind of happy with the way it turned out, so Joe. So today I'm going to install that, and he also expressed Joe, that is, expressed uh, some concern about the ride height of the shifter. My leg might bump it, and I think he's kind of right since I raised it up. So I'm going to chop that down a little bit, the shifter thing and the shifter cover. You'll see what I'm talking about. Stick around. Stay tuned. So here's the deal. I got this marked right around in this neighborhood. I'm going to chop that just because this sits up a little bit too high. And when I slide over the old school shifter knob, it's a little too high too, so I'm going to have to cut both of these. I'll assemble that, put that back in, tighten that down, put the cover on, then I'll move on to something else. Chop number one done. All right, babies, I'm back. Drilled a hole, chopped that, mounted it, ran the cable. Now I'm gonna put the lid on it and uh, bolt it all down with all these cool holes that I put on it. It's done that cheap. Oh, that's backwards, man. <laughs> Sides it over easy, boil. Put a nut in, get it on in there. Where's the nut bolt hole, dude? Oh, there it is. It once started. Look who came to pay us a visit. It's the angry brother. Did you guys see the crappy man? I mean, that's some fancy crap. I mean, you can see the hammer marks in the metal. Dude, it was exhaust pipe. That's smooth as retardness, huh? Lumpy as a <laughs> I've been hearing this since I made then this he thing. Takes, he takes a $200 B&M shifter and whacks six inches off it. So that, it's that, it up off the floor. that was worth it. <laughs> Instead of just mounting the shifter to the floor, now he's going to be hitting it. No. Nope, nope, because I ruined a $200 shifter. I'm a retard. <laughs> And then I'm gonna dress it up with, with the shuttle craft from, from the USS Enterprise. And it's gonna be made out of head of I, I beat with my, my framing hammer. See, now you gotta make me look up a shuttle craft to compare that see, to, man. See, see, the, see the hammer marks in a shuttle craft was hit by torpedo bays. Solo, solo, Photon torpedo. <laughs> Silly, give it some more fun time. Yes. <laughs> so you gonna get out of my truck so I can finish? <laughs> you gonna keep coming out and insult me, man? Not like that, and then cut that shit down. I can. I like it, man. It'll look cool once you build my stereo box. <laughs> Where the stereo and the amp go. Building shit for this wreck. <laughs> You know what I was telling Joey when I put that piece of wood down there? He's like, dude, why don't you mount it up here? No, I said This is actually back. his idea. Slide it back and mount it to the back of the wall. On the floor. Will not make a shuttle crash. It looks like it's been beat by Ashley. Bring on! Come on! K-Less is going to cut you, dude, for speaking bad about the Klingon nation. Whatever, dude. <laughs> Diaper head, suck it. Fucking Star Trek gay bobs. <laughs> Catch you guys when I get spanky out of my truck, man. I'll do something. We're gonna take some hammers and we're gonna smooth out the paint job. <laughs> and there it is. Bolted in. Shorter knob. I'm gonna have to reroute all the junk down underneath there and put the bung back in, but that's done. I don't care what Joey says. 
It's a shifter box boldly going where no shifter box went before. And Sam. <laughs> well, people, that's going to do it for today. I promise you won't see the shift box again. That's totally complete. Regardless of what Joey says about it being a shuttlecraft from a galaxy far, far away. Thanks for tuning in and watching Bethel Brothers Hot Rod. Peace out.